I want us to spend a little time, a little bit of time, and focus on what the blood of Jesus can do for us, for us as God's children, and even those who have not, who have not accepted Jesus. I want to let you know that also Jesus did what? He died for you. He died for me. He shed his blood. It is so important for us to realize that Jesus is really the centrality of the gospel. You know, the sacrifice that he gave his life so that, so that we could have a relationship. He gave his life as a sacrifice so that we can have what? A relationship. He reconciled the blood of Jesus was able to reconcile us again back to God. While his sin had already separated us from God. But through the blood of Jesus, we were able to put together again. Hallelujah. Now we are called children of God. Well, we were so far away, we were running away. And you remember when Adam and Eve, they have seen in the Garden of Eden, they are running away. God comes following them and says, where are you? He was pursuing them. Most of the time we run away from God, but God keeps on pursuing us. Because he knows that the, 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 our life was so important that he bought it with a price. And the price is shed his blood for us. We could be reconciled, that's what I've said, with God. Yes, there is a, such a power in the blood of Jesus. There's power in the what? In the blood of Jesus. You sang that song. There's power, chief of sinners. We know that we are chief of sinners, but the blood of Jesus covered, covered it all. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is holy, and it is powerful. The blood of Jesus is holy, and it's powerful. To reparate us from what? From sin. In other words, we are set free because of the blood of Jesus. We thank God for that. Jesus, Jesus when Jesus shed his blood on, on, on the cross, it was not like a normal human blood that had sin. It, is the, it was pure. It was, the blood was pure. That is able to cleanse us because Jesus had, has, he didn't sin any. And he had no sin. He sinned. He never sinned. Jesus never sinned. But because of our sin, we did what? Jesus come, came and took our sin. And when he's on the cross of Calvary, it is you and I who are, who are, where? Who are on that cross of Calvary. Because it is our sin which took him there. So that he can set us free to pay what we were not able to do. We were to lost completely. That's why I thank my Jesus. I say, Jesus, thank you. When I participated in the whole community, I said, Lord, thank you so much, Jesus. Thank you for what you have done in my life. I will never forget. I don't want to, meet, I don't want to go anymore back there. I just want to continue remaining in Jesus Christ. It was the perfect blood of Jesus. It was, that's what he shed on the cross of Calvary. Now, what does the blood of Jesus do for you and for me? What does it do for us? It is our focus this moment right now. Now, number one was the blood of Jesus because I just want, I will finish without you realizing I will finish. You know, my sermons are not so long. That's the beauty. Because it's not everything that you can get. Even if I preach one hour, sometimes you don't, you know, and then, then I ask you, what did I preach last Sabbath when I was here? You don't know, remember even? You don't remember. So, so, but me, I remember what I said. But if I remember what it was then, they don't know. So why do I preach a long sermon even you don't remember what I preached last, last one time I was here? You have already forgotten. See it? So I want to say something that you can go with. Eh? It's very important. So I want to focus on something. The blood of Jesus cleanses us from all, from our sins, from all our sin. Number one, that's what it can do. Now when you go home, know that the blood of Jesus cleanses us. It cleanses me. A sinner, Joseph. I, it cleanses me, the blood of Jesus. That's John. Jo if you read John chapter 1. And verse 29, when the next day, the Bible tells us the next day, as Jesus was coming and John was preparing the way for Jesus Christ, and he points, he says, 
it says, it says what? You know what it says? The Bible says that it says that Jesus, John said, saw Jesus, when he saw Jesus coming towards him, what did he say? Behold, he says, behold, the Lamb of God, the Lamb of God that does what? That taketh away our what? Our sins, hallelujah. Look, he had been preparing for the way for Jesus Christ. And now Jesus is coming. And the Spirit of God tells him, this is the man you have been preparing the way for. And he says, look, see, behold the Lamb of God. The one who is going, you know, the Lamb used to be sacrificed for our sin. When the Old Testament, the Lamb was the one, they looked at the, the Lamb and they were sacrificing. Now Jesus has come. And no, no wonder John is saying, behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of, of the world. We need to, to understand the sacrifice that he made on the cross, on the cross for us. He, li he lived as an, an example to us. And we, we need to embrace that life of sacrifices as, as, of sacrifice as well. We need to sacrifice for one another. We need to sacrifice when we go out to look for people, the souls who are perishing out there, outside there. We are sacrificing, not that we have it all, but we just sacrifice so that we can also do what? Others also can come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. They can be saved. They can understand the price. They can understand the shed, why Jesus shed his blood on Calvary. He shed it for me and for you. And I will continue to do what God has called me to do. The first that we read here from our sister Natalia read, Natalia, Natalia read, 1 John chapter 1, verse 7, says, if, if you live in the, in the light, because we know Jesus is the light, the one who shed his blood on Calvary is the light. He says, if you live in the light, says, in the same way, he is the light, Jesus is the light. We have fellowship with each other. We have koinonia. With each other, koinonia, koinonia is the Greek word for fellowship. We have fellowship with each other. When we do what? When we live in the light. When we are not living in darkness because Jesus Christ is the light. If today, if this is a place where at night you come here, this place is dark. But then when you switch on the light, then what? You see the light. Dark is gone. Now you see, when Jesus is in our lives, when people see us, they see the light. Hallelujah. The, right, the light is being reflected in our lives. Whatever we do reflects Jesus because it's the light. Darkness disappears. If you are still a child of God, if you call yourself a child of God and still walk in darkness, when people see you and they don't see Jesus Christ, there's a problem with that. And then the blood of Jesus was not shed. It was shed for nothing. Like remember, it says that in, if we do what? If we live in the light, in the same way as he is in the light, we have fellowship with, with, with each other. That's why we have come together. And I thank the church of God here at Upendo. We are always really practicing koin, koinonia. In other words, every sa Sabbath we come together. We don't only break, we don't only share, we don't only listen to the, to the gospel, we don't only preach. But uh, Brother Jones, we also do what? We also have fellowship together. Hallelujah. We eat together. As we eat together, we bond together. You know, eating together is very important. We understand each other. The difference is goals because I know. I know how John, jo, jo, Brother Jones behave, uh, how he reacts, because we have this close relationship. Because we can be here, we don't understand each other. You know that? You don't know me, I don't know you, so we know. If I say something, you are offensive. But if you know that it's like that, if I know elder, you know, I don't take seriously, you know, because I know how we are, you know, and it does not mean anything because we share, we are good friends. Like my, my brother here, and um, you know, all this, our sons here, when they're together, they, they know each other, they are brothers. So they know when somebody's annoyed, how he behaves. So you don't have to worry, it's not going to kill you. We don't take something seriously. Because we have been brought by the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We, it is so costly. The blood of Jesus is so costly to make us divide. But the ones that you be united together, it is because of the love of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It's very, very important, please, children of God. That's why I'm saying here. And then the Bible says, as we read at the end, it says, And the blood of Jesus 
His son cleanses us from, uh, from what? From what? One sin? From what? Ever sin. No matter what. No matter whether you have killed somebody, no matter what you did, whatever you did, whether you have robbed the bank, whatever, whatever you have done, Jesus, the Bible tells us you are ever, the blood of Jesus cleanses us from what? He will cleanse you from all, every sin that you have done in your life. Hallelujah. When I look back, whatever I've done, maybe it has not been so good. But when I look at Jesus Christ, I know that my sins are done what? I've been forgiven. Hallelujah. So I'm free. Nobody can tease me because when Jesus says, he says. If somebody tells you, you know, today you can tell me, oh, I forgive you. And then when I do something again, you remember. You say, Joseph, you know, you said that you, you will not do it again and you have done it. So did you forgive me, really? Yeah? Did you forgive my sin? Today, I do something to you. Then you say, I ask you, forgive me, elder, please forgive me. I forgive me. Then you say, oh, I've forgiven. Okay. Then, you know, because you are human beings, again, I can say something that you, cannot, uh, you are not going to be happy with. Then you, uh, you know, you say, you know, you ask me to forgive you, and again, you have already said something. Did you really forgive me, and you are now reviving what I said before? No, you never forgave me. If you forgave me, you should not be saying what I did. And that's what people do. They buy things in their mind. They buy things in their mind. But God, when he forgives you, he forgives you. Hallelujah. That's why I love God. Amen. God, you know, the hardest person to forgive is ourselves. Yourself, that's why when you go into your knees and again you start reminding God, you know, again I've sinned. I did that before and I've done it now. Forgive me again, Lord. God never remembers. It is already forgiven and it's forgotten. Hallelujah. He forgot that. That's what we should be doing also as children of God. I want to say this, uh, children of God. So God, the Bible tells us that the, the blood of Jesus does what? He, uh, 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 the blood of Jesus, his son, the son of God, cleanses us from every sin. Yes, verse 9 says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful. If only we do what? We confess. This blood of Jesus is going to be effective when we do what? We confess our what? Our sins. I have to say Sorry. I have to say sorry. You know, let me tell you, even when somebody has already wronged you, and you feel really you are wronged, and this person is not remorseful, is not going to really apologize or say something. You know, when somebody has wronged me and I'm waiting for him to say, come and say something, I also extend my olive branch. I say, oh, brother, and then I call him. I say, brother, you know, uh, I know you know you did something there, but I just want to assure you that I forgive you. He has not asked me for forgiveness, eh? And they know he wronged me because of pride, he don't want to, to, to recognize. So what I say, I extend it myself, I call him, and I say, I've forgiven you. I don't, want, I, don't want, I don't care what he says, but he wronged me, and he knows that he wronged me, but he's also going as if he never wronged me. You know, because he wants hatred, he wants me. I say, I've forgiven you, and I want our friendship to continue. That's when the blood of Jesus has done effect in your life. It's so effective in your life. But if you wait for me to come and call you, Brother Jones, and say, oh, you know, you need to call me and apologize. No, 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 no. We have to extend because of the love of Jesus. The blood of Jesus can humble you. It breaks you down. And you are humbled and you become, you know, you become, you know, you become easy. You don't have to harden things. You don't have to make things so hard. You make it easy. For even that sinner to realize. Because, you know, I don't know how extent you know God. I don't know how your faith, your level of your faith. It is me who understands the level I am with Jesus Christ. I don't know about you. So I don't have to say, when I see you at church, I know you are completely saved. I see you from the lens of spiritual eyes. But I don't know your level, your spiritual level. It is you who knows how close you are with God. Hallelujah. It is you who knows. That's why we should not be charging people. We should be patient with each one of us. Hallelujah. Because we know even there's a lost coin in the church. That's why we need to handle each other with a lot of care because we don't know. I don't know what you are going through. I can charge you from the way I see you. I rebuke you the way I see you. But I don't know what you, go, you are going through in your life. It is you who knows what you go through. Sometimes we may wear these suits, but we don't know what's going on in our lives. 
But we thank God for his blood. We thank God for Jesus' blood. He covers it all. That's why we can, even though we are going through some situation, but still we can come and smile. Hallelujah. Because we know that Jesus has bought us. He has bought us with a, a, a price, a dear price. His blood, shedding blood on the cross of Calvary. So that you and I, I can be here today. Hallelujah. I thank God for his blood. I thank Jesus for what he did on the cross of Calvary. And so when we do the, when we, we participate in the whole communion, we remember what Jesus has done. We remember what Jesus has done. And, uh, you know, the Bible say, says here, it continues to say here, verse 9, it says, if we confess our sins, it's faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. In Revelation chapter 1, verse 5 says, from Jesus Christ, from Jesus Christ, the, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead and the ruler over the kings of the earth, he, to him who loved us and washed us from our sins uh, uh, in his what? In his own blood. Hallelujah. He washed us from our sin by, with what? Uh, by his own blood. His own blood. I don't know who can give me this blood. Who can die on, on, on my behalf except only Jesus. I don't know anybody who can do that. I believe you and I cannot die for my own children. I can fear. I can fear that night if somebody says that, I, Joseph, today can we kill you so that your son can live? I don't know whether I can accept that. I, if I can accept, I say, maybe I can say, inject me with something so that I cannot feel the pain. Or you close my eyes and then you do it, but not when I see. But you can imagine how Jesus can say, yes, I am ready to go all the way. I am ready all to go all the way. And then, friends, I, I just wonder sometimes why, those, why people do what they do and why Jesus has done it all. He says, just come. We were to get finished completely. But what Jesus has done, he has done it for us. Hallelujah. And he said, it's finished. And when he said, when he died on the cross of Calvary, he shed the blood. The blood was whooshing from, whoosh, 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 whoosh from his body. It was coming all over the blood. And it, it, uh, as he's laying there, he says, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. He could have said, condemn them, kill them. But he said, forgive them, for they don't know. They do, they do not know what they are doing. Friends, I want to assure you that the blood of Jesus is so expensive. So when we sin, we pain Jesus again. We, we, we turn him on the cross of Calvary for what he has done it. And again, when we do any, whatever we do, we put him back again to the cross. He looks at us and says, I died for you. I died for you and I want you to come and still is ready to forgive us. The cross of provision is not yet closed. He's saying that come to me, come to me. And it's there. Your blood can be cleansed. Your blood can be cleansed. Your sin can be cleansed. It can. You know, that's why some people, when we go to heaven, one day, there's people that you saw that you were doing crooked things. And then one day they had a message like this one. And they accepted Jesus Christ as their personal savior. And then, then you are going to see their names written there. But you will see their names closed by red. By red, by the blood of Jesus that their sins were forgiven, and they are also the candles of heaven. Hallelujah. So no matter what you are going through, no matter what you have done, maybe you have been taking drugs, maybe you have been doing whatever, but I want to assure you, child of God, you are still a child of God. Just confess your sins and say, Lord, I have heard about what your blood can do. I want also, I surrender now. I say, now cleanse me. You know, every morning I wake up, I tell God, cleanse me deeply, cleanse me deeply. So that when I go out there, I know that I'm covered. Because we don't know what can happen. Cover me, Lord Jesus. And he's ready to cover you. His own blood just did it all for us. Number two, the blood, of, the blood heals us. The blood of Jesus heals us. The Bible says it, is, it, 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 sets, it sets us from the, the, the demonic oppression. By his stripes, the Bible says, by his stripes, we were what? We were healed. He was wounded for what? For our transgressions. 
bruised for our iniquities. And by his stripes, we are what? We are healed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. His blood heals us. Today, maybe you, are, you can be undergoing, you are undergoing some challenges in your life. Maybe you are sick in one way or the other. But I want to assure you the blood of Jesus heals. By his stripes we are healed. That's what the word of God says. You read from the book of, uh, the book of, uh, the book of Isaiah 50, 50, 50, 53, verse 4 and 5. There is such a power in the blood of Jesus, I want to assure you, children of God. And we need, we need to appropriate that every day in our lives. We want to put it into practice every day of our lives. Whatever God you are going through, just say, Lord, cover me with your blood. And they will do it for you and for me. Number three, I say this. I said number one, what did I say? The blood of Jesus does what? Yeah? Yes, I want you to remember it cleanses us from all our sins. Hallelujah. From every sin, no matter what sin. Number two, I say it does what? Heals. So when we have practiced today the whole communion here, we know that when we are taking the blood of Jesus through by, you know, symbolically the wine, then when we take that grape juice, we know that the blood of Jesus does what? Heals. And when you believe it by faith, because you know faith is what? Faith is a substance of what? Of things hoped for. Evidence of what? Of things not seen. You believe I'm healed because of the blood of Jesus and you are healed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Without no doubt, you are healed in the name of Jesus. Number three. I go quickly now. And number three, the blood of Jesus says, set, gets, gets, through, gets us through and it makes us overcome us. It gets us through and it makes us what? Overcome us. By the blood of Jesus, I'm an overcomer. I have overcome the, the sin of the world. Hallelujah. I can overcome through the blood of Jesus. Revelation chapter 12, verse 10 to 12 says, then I, I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of, of what? Of his Christ has, uh, have come. For the accuser, for the accuser of our brethren, who accused them before our God day and night. Can you mind day and night? The accuser was accusing us. He goes day and night, he's accusing you. Oh, you have seen this word. You remember when the children of God went to heaven because the children of God were always taking a report from here. They were going to heaven and Satan accompanied them. And when they were giving a report, also the, the devil was there, Satan was there. And he says, hey, God recognized that the devil is also there. And they ask, well, hey, man, you know, I'm also here, you know. That time he was allowed to go to heaven and come down, you know, roaming around. Why are you here? I am just going to and fro. You know, remember what the Bible says? Going to and fro, roaming around. Why? 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 Because he's also listening. And when the report of Job was given, he says, no, <laughs> don't you are joking with Job. Job, you have already sealed him. You have given him riches, everything that you have given him. He says, if you get that, <laughs> then God says, okay, I allow you. <laughs> you go and try. That's my son. That's my son. I want to, the accuser is always accusing us, but he has no power. Hallelujah. We are covered by the blood of Jesus. We are already covered. He has no power to all. That's why the Bible says here, who accused them before our God day and night has been cast down. He has been cast down here. And then now when he was cast down here, how can we overcome from this enemy who is accusing us day and night? The Bible says, and they overcame him by what? What did they overcome for? By what? By the blood of who? Of the lamb. That's how they overcame. Because the devil was always here, brother uh, Elder Paul. He was here all the time. Even right now, he's here. He's accusing us. But the, the good thing is not, the, he's not allowed to go to heaven. He's just roaming around here. He's roaming here to see whom we can devour. But we have already been sealed by the blood of Jesus. We can overcome through the blood of Jesus. Friends, know that when Jesus, you are connected to Jesus, now you are covered. I am covered. You are covered in a very special way. He says, he, 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 the Bible says, they overcame him by the blood of, of the Lamb and by the word, the word of their testimony. And they did not love their lives to, to death. They never loved their life to death. 
they just depended on Jesus Christ. They said, even if I die, I'm going to die in Jesus Christ. Not the end, but just only, that's only temporarily. Hallelujah. It's not the end. It's not the end. They just depended, they depended on God completely. Yes, my brothers and sisters, we trust in the blood. And it is the, it is the blood of Jesus that gets us through and it makes us overcome us. It makes us overcome us. The blood of Jesus. And that's why, friends, when you partake this by faith, you know that you have been strengthened again. You have been rejuvenated again. You have been given a new energy. Now you go out there knowing that you are covered in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. I feel happy. I don't know about you. I look, you are just so sad. You look so sad. Anyway, it's okay. But I know the blood. I'm happy because the blood of Jesus done, it has done it. No, any challenge in my life, I don't care. I know I have a greater God. Greater is he who is what? Greater is he who is what? In, in me than the one who is where? In the world. I know it's greater. No matter what I go through, I know I am covered by the blood of Jesus. I know I am an overcomer by the blood of Jesus. Whether I am sick or what, I know by his stress of what? I'm healed. By his blood, I am healed. That's what I know. And I believe that. And I believe that I am an overcomer. So friends, as I finish. So, as we participate in the, in the whole communion today, remember that it is, it is the blood of Jesus that cleanses you, that cleanses me from every sin of my life. From every sin of our lives. If we converse it. Hallelujah. If only we do what? We converse it. Number two. It is the blood of Jesus that heals us. And sets us free. From all kinds of the devil's attacks. You have been attacked. You know I always tell people. People say oh I am attacked. The enemy is attacking me. The enemy is. You know. Yes the enemy is attacked. But I want to say in the name of Jesus. The enemy the enemy has been defeated by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. He has no power. So my brothers and sisters in the Lord, know that yes, the enemy will try to come, but I want to let you know that he has already been defeated in the name of Jesus. He has no power. So long as the one who is in us is greater and is governing your life, no matter who is trying to attack you, no matter who is coming, who is the enemy is using, I think it's just like beating the air. It's doing nothing so long as you stay connected. Hallelujah. So long as you stay connected. As we, even the fear we were talking about. When the enemy is trying to come and trying to drive the fear because God has not given us a spirit of fear. That's in, in Timothy chapter 1, 1 Timothy 1, 7. You know, 1 Timothy 1, 7. God has not given us what? The spirit of fear. But he has given us what? The spirit of what? Power and what? And love. So God and sound mind, so he has given us, when fear is striving, trying to come to our way, and the fire's faith is there, it's gone. It's gone. So Jesus is already there. He's occupying our lives. So, so what do you fear? Nothing. I don't have food. No, I don't fear anything. I don't have this or uh, sickness. I don't have fear because I know Jesus can take care of that. The blood of Jesus is, uh, is dear. It's very expensive. It has covered it all. So the enemy's attack is nothing. It is the blood of Jesus that gets us through and makes us over, overcome all, all, all of our, all of the challenges we face in life. Hallelujah. What are the challenges that are you facing in life? Know that the blood of Jesus covers it all. Amen. It is really Jesus' blood. So that is what the blood of Jesus can do, friends. Those who are listening to me, that's what the blood of Jesus. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, just allow him to cleanse you. He can change you. If I had time, I can tell you how Jesus has changed me. By his blood, he has changed me. And I say, Lord, if it were not for you, I don't know where I shall be. But because of your blood, I can stand here and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I know there's no, more, there's no challenge which is greater than what Jesus can do. He can do it all. He can fix any situation in our lives. Just depend on him. Depend on him. If it's your family, give it to Jesus. If it is your children, give it to Jesus. Give them to Jesus. Just say, Jesus, 
I know you can take care of it. I know Jesus, your blood is enough for me. I know I have wronged you, I've done some sin, I have done, I've gone away from you, but I want you to cover me with your blood, Jesus. I know my situation is not no good. I don't know where I'm facing. When I look forward, I see the Red Sea. When I look on this side, I see a mountain. When I look this side, there's a mountain. When I see, look back, there's chariots coming. But Lord, I know you can enable me. As you told Moses, what you have in your hand. I don't know what you have. You have faith. And the blood of Jesus covering you. Just follow Jesus. All will be well with you. So when we participate in the whole communion as we separate now towards our feet, I just want to assure you that the blood of Jesus has done it all for you. And God is going to renew your life. God is going to rebuke the enemy, the enemy's attacks. They are not going to find room in your, in your way. In John chapter, I, I, it's James chapter what? Chapter 4 verse 7, does, what does this say? Submit yourselves to God. And what? Do what? Resist the devil. And the devil will do what? Will, will flee from you in the name of Jesus. May God bless you. Now we can separate and wash our feet. Then come back here to continue. May God bless all of us.